Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doki Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Kamehameha Extreme Battle Road stage. Now I've mentioned this before in other videos but the Kamehameha category, much like other categories, tends to struggle when it comes to leaders. Some categories have lots of leads, other categories don't have a lot of leads at all. The Kamehameha team is kind of in between. It's got around three natural leads for the category, which is pretty good. You know, if you look at like uh, Gohan, the LRHEL Gohan, you've got the physical Goten and Trunks, and you've got the tech Goku and Gohan LR. So you've got a decent roster of units and some decent sub leads. But Kamehameha benefits a lot like other categories by having a lot of variant team builds that exist within it. Great example, Turtle School. You've got Krillins, Master Roshis, Gokus, all covered by Turtle School. Uh, Super Saiyan, you've got Gokus, Gohans, uh, all covered by Super Saiyan, Go Goku, Vegetas, you know, things like that. You've got, for example, Goten and Trunkses that are covered by Hybrid Saiyans. Hybrid Saiyans is a very strong category to run in terms of the Kamehameha category. And then you also have things like Goku's family, etc. So you do have a lot of decent options when it comes to building your Kamehameha team. For me, this ESPR was quite challenging. Uh, I think one thing you should always bear in mind when you take on an ESPR is a couple things. Firstly, damage. Damage is the number one priority in pretty much all of Dokkan. The faster you beat the enemy, the less time you give them to beat you especially when enemies hit so hard. On top of that as well, stunning, sealing, and attack and defense lowering are very vital mechanics. Because of this, the team that we decided to run with is a Martian Buu Saga team. I have a strength LR Goku and Vegeta Angel team lead, which is pretty solid overall. Their easy A giving them a very strong offensive and defensive presence as a floater on the team. On the one rotation, we have the sub easy A's, Tech Trunks Super Saiyan and Int Gohan Super Saiyan. Both of these units are very good when alongside each other, starting with 50% damage reduction and scaling to 80% damage reduction after Super. They also provide a bit of key support for Kamehameha category units, so having them in one rotation is pretty potent and very very helpful. We have two Majin Buu units here. I refrained from using the physical El Abuhan, mainly because I didn't I wanted to try someone slightly different, but he is an absolute top tier pick, pretty much for all content. But then I ran the uh, tech Majin Buu good, evil transforming unit, also a unit with a great easy aim. Now they do have a requirement to have another Majin power unit, so their damage reduction goes from 40% to 70%. And unfortunately we don't get this. If I was going for a no item run I would definitely make sure that this occurs because this is a very crucial component to getting a no item run. However on top of that, overall, we do have the physical Buhan but not the LR. He does some cool stuff in terms of debuffing super class enemies which is helpful and he can do some decent damage. And then finally we round out the team with two Super Saiyan 3 Gokus. We have the Tech Free to Play Super Saiyan 3 Goku, a unit that has some great spiked DPS which can be used, alongside as well being able to stun the opposition, which is a very very useful mechanic to have in this situation, and his counterpart does the same. We have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who on the Majin Buu Saga team is a fantastic first start tank, and also doubles down as providing a ton of damage and stunning capabilities. So realistically, when looking at the team, we have a pretty strong, very comfortable team that does things pretty well. There are some weak points which prevents us from doing the no item run. The first is the Goten Trunks rotation. Why are they a weak point? Because they don't have the like they don't have great like they have good defense, but they can take quite a fair chunk of damage if they're in the first slot and they're supered before they fire off their super attack. It's a situation where they can take a lot of damage. It's not going to happen a lot, but it is something that can exist. On top of that as well, 
I would probably run LR Buhan over the physical Buhan. Probably would also run double AGL Goku leads instead of running the tech Super Zandri Goku. And I would shift Vegito into rotation. Or probably, you know, even consider removing him and putting in someone like Strength Boo. But he's not Kamehameha, so that wouldn't really work. Well, he is, but yeah, maybe I would, ju I would just keep Strength Vegito. This is probably the team I go for a no item run. I probably will in future. But yeah, realistically speaking, I think Majin Buu Saga got a ton of buffs recently. So there's a category that's really strong uh, and really fun to use. So they were a very easy, good solution to bring to this stage. And I think ultimately, you know, at the end of the day, they were quite fun and easy to use. And I had a good time doing so. All in all, if you do need help with team building, you can let me know in the comments. Of course, I'll be able to assist you. If you just want to share what team you used, that's also pretty cool. I like to always see what teams people are running. So it's not a big issue to share your team down below. And if you need further help, you can let me know. Of course, I'm always happy to assist. But that is basically going to be it for me. So take care, stay safe. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care and bye.